This is our lying A T Y L stretch. Now, there's a stretch for each of those letters, A T Y L. I'm just gonna show you all of them in one because they're extremely similar. And this is a really good way to start to open up your shoulder, your rotator cuff, start to get more mobility through this range of motion here. So it starts by laying down on your stomach, okay? And we're gonna use our right hand first. So our right hand comes out in maybe like, not 45 degrees, just a little bit less, and creates an A shape between you and your body. Okay, so it starts just here. Then what we're gonna do with our uh, right, with our left leg, is we're gonna start to bring it up as we roll our body over. So keeping our shoulder there, pushed into the ground. Start to roll over, we're gonna bring this leg up, keep pushing that right shoulder into the ground. Our left leg comes up and creates a nice stable platform just here. And you can either just hold here with your other hand and support yourself, or you can take your hand off and let it start to fall open to the outside. Okay, so that is our A, A position. Our T position is our hand comes all the way out to the side. All right, exactly the same. We start to roll over, start to push away, foot comes in, hand comes off and starts to open up. Okay, then our Y position creates like a Y shape. Hand comes out on a nice 45 degree angle. Foot comes up, keep that chest to the floor. Foot comes up in this position, start to roll over and open that hand up. Okay, and last one, our L position. So you're coming into this, this goal post position just like that. Start to roll over, keep, you wanna keep this shoulder as close as you can to the ground on all of these. So really try to get that shoulder as close as you can to the ground. Don't let it lift up. Place your head on the ground. Okay, and you start to roll over. This one's much harder to take your hand off. And that is our lying A-T-Y-L shoulder stretch.